Poland's acquisition of the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor Radars, the LTMDS, marks a transformative step in its air defense modernization, reinforcing its critical role as a NATO stronghold on the alliance's eastern flank. In September 2023, Poland became the first international customer to sign a letter of acceptance with the U.S. Army for 12 LTMDS radars and 48 Patriot launchers, integrated into the second phase of its WISWA air and missile defense program. This deal, part of a broader $9.3 billion package that includes PAC-3 missile segment enhancement interceptors and the integrated battle command system, equips Poland to counter a wide range of aerial threats, including manned and unmanned aircraft, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and emerging hypersonic weapons. With deliveries scheduled from late 2026 through 2029, the LTMDS acquisition reflects Poland's urgent response to heightened regional tensions, driven by Russia's ongoing aggression in Ukraine and its military presence in Kaliningrad and Belarus. The strategic necessity of this modernization is underscored by Poland's position as a frontline NATO member necessitating robust defenses to deter potential threats and protect national sovereignty. Developed by Raytheon, an RTX business, the LTAMDS is a state-of-the-art 360-degree active electronically scanned array radar powered by gallium nitride technology. Its innovative design, featuring one primary and two secondary antenna arrays, provides comprehensive azimuthal coverage, overcoming the sectoral limitations of legacy Patriot radars and effectively doubling their performance. This enables Poland to detect and track complex, multi-directional threats in real time, a capability critical for addressing modern warfare's evolving challenges. In August 2024, Raytheon secured a $2.1 billion U.S. Army contract for low-rate initial production of LTAMDS radars, covering both U.S. and Polish orders, with completion targeted for November 2028. Poland's 12 radars are being produced alongside U.S. units, with Raytheon currently manufacturing radars 7 and 8 for delivery in late 2025. The Polish Armed Forces aim to achieve full operational capability for their existing Patriot systems by late 2024, with LTDS integration beginning in 2026, aligning closely with U.S. deployment schedules. This synchronized timeline ensures Poland benefits from the latest technological advancements while maintaining interoperability with allied forces. A cornerstone of the LTAMDS deal is its integration with the IBCS, a Northrop Grumman-developed command and control system for which Poland is the first export user. Formalized in a $2.5 billion contract in February 2024, IBCS unifies sensors and weapons into a networked architecture, enhancing real-time decision-making and interoperability with NATO and U.S. forces. A November 2024 live fire test at White Sands Missile Range demonstrated LTAMDS's effectiveness, successfully detecting and engaging a tactical ballistic missile surrogate by guiding a PAC 3 MSC interceptor via IBCS. This test validated the system's reliability and its pivotal role in Poland's multi layered defense strategy. The integration of LTAMDS and IBCS not only strengthens Poland's ability to respond to diverse threats, but also positions it as a leader in adopting cutting-edge defense technologies, setting a precedent for other NATO allies seeking to modernize their air defense systems. Poland's commitment to industrial collaboration is a key feature of the LTAMDS deal, fostering both technological and economic benefits. Five companies from the state-owned PGZ Group Pitt Radwar, WZE, WZU, CTM, and WZ1 are receiving technology transfers, equipment, and training to produce and maintain critical LTAMDS components, including identification friend or foe systems, energy storage assemblies, cables, circuit card assemblies, and cooling systems. In August 2023, Poland approved $238 million in offset agreements with RTX and Lockheed Martin to establish local service, repair, and production facilities, integrating Polish industry into the global LTAMDS supply chain. 
These agreements create skilled jobs, enhance technological expertise, and promote self-reliance in Poland's defense sector, aligning with the government's broader goal of strengthening its industrial base. By involving local companies, Poland ensures long-term sustainability for its air defense systems, reducing dependence on foreign maintenance and fostering innovation in radar and missile technology. Despite its progress, the LTAMDS program faces several challenges that could impact its timeline and cost. Producing a single radar currently takes 40 months, though Raytheon, in collaboration with the Boston Consulting Group, is working to reduce this to 36 months to meet growing global demand. Poland's ambitious schedule for integrating LTAMDS with existing Patriot systems and IBCS adds logistical complexity, requiring meticulous coordination to avoid delays. The nation's defense budget, set at 4.7% of GDP in 2025, supports these acquisitions, but has sparked concerns about potential cost overruns, particularly as Poland relies on loans to finance its modernization programs. Some unverified claims on platforms like X suggest Poland may be overpaying for LTAS and IBCS compared to U.S. procurement costs. But these lack substantiation from official sources and are overshadowed by the strategic necessity of the systems. Additionally, Poland's simultaneous efforts to expand its armed forces to 300,000 troops by 2035 and acquire other advanced systems, such as F-35 jets and Apache helicopters, strain resources and recruitment efforts, posing risks to the program's execution. The LTAM-DS deal positions Poland at the forefront of global air defense innovation, with over a dozen countries expressing interest in the system's advanced capabilities. Its adoption of LTAM-DS and IBCS not only enhances national security, but also strengthens NATO's collective defense, particularly on the eastern flank, where the threat of Russian aggression looms large. The system's proven performance in U.S. tests and its integration with Poland's existing Patriot batteries ensure a robust, multi-layered defense architecture capable of addressing both current and emerging threats. As deliveries approach, Poland's Ministry of National Defense continues to emphasize the program's strategic importance, with Prime Minister Donald Tusk highlighting the goal of building one of Europe's most formidable militaries. For the latest updates, the Polish Ministry of National Defense and RTX's official statements remain essential resources, providing detailed insights into this transformative initiative. As Poland advances its LTAMDS integration, it sets a benchmark for NATO allies, demonstrating how strategic investments and international partnerships can enhance regional security in an increasingly volatile geopolitical landscape.